What's going on guys? My name is Alex or Kruth or whatever noise you want to make with your mouth to identify me. And today I'm going to show you how I made this sound. So I love sounds that seem like they're struggling to come out of the machine. I feel like this is one of them. Other examples of sounds like that to me are Tommy's theme by Noisia and Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites, Spirits. So the main synth line consists of MIDI and audio clips. So the MIDI is Serum. I'm gonna explain this sound in the most basic way possible. I'm gonna build it in a way that it would make sense audibly, but that's not how I came up with the sound at all. I didn't even know that I was gonna end up with these parameters. So this is what the sound is like without any effects, just straight up coming out of the synth and the audio clips. It's still pretty much the same. Let's get into the shot! The main sound is coming from oscillator A, which right now it's hardly even audible. It's such a low oscillation. So then I turned on the sub oscillator, making a higher sine wave. Then I have oscillator B, and oscillator B is not making any noise, levels down because I'm using it as a modulator. So this saw waveform is frequency modulating oscillator A. I think about it as an electric current that's just affecting the oscillator uh, with the waveform here. I have it pitched up really high and detuned by five semitones. If I were to move this even slightly, it would change the tone. So you're probably like, how the fuck is that sound moving? Well, it's because I routed LFO one to this parameter, as well as a bunch of other parameters in the patch. So if you notice, there's gonna be a little blue dot that shows up when I press play. What's happening is that that blue dot is moving at the same value of this graph here. So this top of the graph is the top of this blue line and the bottom is the bottom of the blue line. And uh, also in instances like this, it's the same idea. This is what's causing the sound to, to move, you know? Let me put this filter on it, which is a low pass filter, super simple shit. It's just letting low frequencies pass by, right? And the highs are getting rolled off. So the sound's already getting this cool little little thing going right here, which I think is basically the sound already, really. Because uh, as soon as I add this diode, shout out to Diode Distortion, second fucking song in the EP that's using this distortion. I think this definitely gives it the sound. And I'm gonna turn on the uh, multiband compressor so that it's just louder. So you can tell without the distortion, with the distortion, it adds that grittiness, and then I think the combs filter here just really brings it home. And then the rest of the effects are really just like fancy schmancy stuff, rising up the high end, <laughs> and a little bit of dimension and, and hyper, and uh, the effects are super simple. Let me turn them on. What we have is another OTT, you know, compressor, multiband compressor, some weird ass fucking EQing because for some reason I thought that sounded cool in that moment. And TDR Nova, I have it on a DSing preset, which is for DSing vocals. I just put it here because I think it's cool to remove that that frequency because it's annoying. Rolling off the low end and that's it. So if you want to get this patch, as well as another extra patch and all of these sexy ass sounds, you can get them inside this micro pack available at Threat Collective. This is one of eight micro packs that contain all of the sounds for all of the tracks in my EP. So the audio clip consists of two different samples that I'm layering, uh, one of which is this one. And I'm using a little tiny cut of it, as you can see. And the reason why it sounds so smooth and it's fading is because I'm using the de-clicking mode here, generic, and that's creating those like little cross-fading. The other sound that I'm layering it with is this one. I'm pretty sure it's also from the patch, but I'm not 100% sure where that sound came from. And both of those things are super tiny micro cuts that come in at the end of the MIDI sound. You notice how I had a little bit of a release uh, specifically put in this area is because it complements that out thing so much. 
It's such a simple beep boop. I'm putting it through these effects. This weird ass <laughs> EQ. For some reason that sounded good. It's probably because I EQ'd it after a distortion. Um, but anyway, the distortion, this is a free plugin. Does that. You have a little bit of overdrive, which is just a little tiny, nothing too crazy. Another EQ removing the low end. This is really a, a really cool part, which is the reverb which is hardly audible right now, but this is the coolest part, which is me cranking up the limiter to the max and uh, bringing up all of that reverb and immediately cutting it off as well. And it's this automation here that you see that it lets the reverb in to the mix and then completely cuts it off, which I thought gave it a sick ass effect. Both of these sounds are going to this final channel, which is, has just a slight bit of wave shaping. And then we have a patcher, which is just a Fletcher Munson curve. Another EQ. Another TDR Nova, which is just the same shit, but just... Oh yeah, and then finally I'm bringing up the highs again. That is how we, I came up with that sound. That is literally every single step. So now you layered that with all of these other sexy sounds. And you get this. That's gonna be it for today's video. I really hope you learned something, I really do. If you didn't learn something, it's probably because you didn't listen, um, or maybe you are God and you know everything. So, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace out. See you on the next jet.